Hello everyone and welcome to today this tutorial. Um, I'm Thunderwaffer and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to um, get Craft Bucket, so a server with plugins on your Minecraft server. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get straight into it. First up, you need to go to bucket.org. I'll put a um, I'll put a um, link in the description. And you want to come here to the recommended builds, and you want to get the latest one. This one is for 1.2.5, which is actually also 1.4. And this one up here is the latest one for the 1.2.5, so the first one. But you also want to get the latest one just uh, before it, and this one is R4. And as you can see, this one is R4. One, so you want to get R4, and you'll have to download this and make sure it's a recommended build and or a stable build, and click on it to download it. Save the file to a new folder. So create, right-click and click new new folder and just call it your minecraft server with prompts okay um and just call it when you're saving it you have to call it um craft bucket and just click save Okay, now once that's done, um, you have to go to the file, and as you can see here, it's called craftbucket.jar. Um, keep it as craftbucket.jar if you um, change it to something else, or you didn't set it, um, then you have to go back and do it again. Um, okay, so just open your folder, and as you can see, it's just craftbucket and it's a executable jar file okay so now what you have to do is open a notepad file for windows and um, open that one up and as you can see this will be in the description um, just call it um, just paste that into a um, document and as you can see this will have to be all set up um, so um, this is where you can find it so if you go to computer program files and you go to Java and it says jar e6 this one's actually 7 and bin and java.exe yep that one there so that's all set up right and then this is just how much RAM it's using, you can probably keep that, it doesn't really matter. And it's a jar file and it's called craftbucket.jar. And now you just have to go save as, save it to that folder, so here, and we'll just call it um, server run. Okay, now make sure it's not a save as type 2 text document save it as all files and just put dot bat on the end so it's server run dot bat okay now open that and it should look like this it is a window windows batch file okay now just double click it and run it and as you can see it's created all this. This is your um, server config. And as you can see, it's just creating all the files and the world. See, it's preparing the spawn area. And once you've got the done, then you can um, close it. So you have to type stop and that will stop your server and just wait until it saves everything okay there you go now click any key and it closes it okay 
now you have to um, set it all up. So um, this is your plugins um, area. Um, all your plugins will go in here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get. I'm gonna show you how to get some plugins. Um, so you have to go to bucket.org again, and then go get bu get plugins. And okay, um, I'm just gonna choose one of the plugins here, and I'm gonna go for. We'll just do an easy one. We'll go for essentials. And when you click on all these, you'll see that there will be a download link. So you click essentials core download. And you can just save the file. Um, this is just a um, RAW file or a .zip, a .zip file. So you can just save it anywhere. Um, we'll just save it here. And then click in your plugins, open the essentials. And in here. And drag these .jar files, executable jar file, all four of them into your plugins. And there will be a now the um, you have to run your server again, so double click that batch file again. And as you can see in here, it's creating your essentials files, the config. And once that's done again, then you can stop it. Okay, now when you go into essentials, um, you can open the config. This is a big config as this is a big plugin, um, but you, do, you can skip most of it, so skip notes, click um, ops color name, so C represents the red because it's um, a color code, um, and some of the commands this can do is like slash give, slash item, and all the um, ones that are most helpful, so um, like game mode. Well, here's a list of them, so you can set warps, set your spawn. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go into Minecraft and go into the world. If you want to know your IP address, then you can go to my other tutorial, which will be in the description and on the notion up there. Oh, okay. Um. That's why it's not working. Before you go on your server, you always have to run your server.run. Okay, and and every time you start your server, you can see that it's got essentials information, um, essentials stat, chat, essentials protect, and essentials. Um, and don't worry because the plugin metrics um, file here that is a part of um, essentials so that's basically you just need the default settings so and once you come on here um, and this is your craft bucket server 
um, with essentials you can slash gm well first of all you have to opt yourself so go into your cmd and, click and type op and then your username mine is thunder Wolfer. and as you see you are now opt so now you can use these commands i'm creative mode i'm not creative mode I damage that stuff. I can do slash heal. I can spawn items in um, survival mode. So item diamond one, and you have a diamond. Um, some other things you can do. So let's say since you spawned up there, you can do set spawn, and when other players come on, then that will be where they spawn. Or you can type slash spawn. That will take you to that area and you can set warp so set warp spawn default and now you can go warp spawn default and that tp's you there okay um so thanks for watching that is your basic knowledge of creating a minecraft server with um craft bucket so your minecraft server can have plugins okay um, thanks very much for watching, please subscribe and like the video.